Hi everyone, this is Gail, and happy Friday. Um, this is my Friday Frolics video for the week. The angle that you see might be a little bit different, and I may glance away at times because normally I use my camcorder and just sit it on top of my laptop. And I've noticed lately, and I, I don't remember to do anything about it until I'm looking at the video, but I've noticed that the computer reflects in my glasses. And, you know, so I decided I would try putting my camcorder on a little uh, tripod type thing and move my computer over to the side. But because of that, I can't see what I'm what I'm doing. So I hope I'm in the frame. Uh, I might be. Let me look there. A little bit lower. But anyway, thank you very much for coming today. Um, I have been busy. Uh, well, which what else is new? But I, I've had a fun week. I have done two extensive exercise classes. I um, finished a, a polymer clay video for you for Monday. And I've also thought in my head uh, of my Patreon video for this month. And I'm really excited. Um, only problem with the Patreon videos is that every, only my patrons get to see them. And I get real excited about them. And I can't wait. Uh, that's why I've decided that after three months, if or later, but at least three months after I issue them as a Patreon tutorial, I may turn it into a paid tutorial. And I know you don't probably don't like the idea of a paid tutorial, and some of you can't afford it, and that's fine. I understand that. But I don't think it's fair to offer the tutorial to people for free when my patrons are are helping me every month and they deserve something for the help that they give me. So if they donate more than uh, or ten dollars or more in support every month, they get um, access to my video. <coughs> so that being said, what else have I done today? I've done some some more work in my paper room. Um, I really wish I could move my polymer clay in there because the setup in there is so good for videoing. And, I mean, it's good light, and I've got a nice big workspace, but I'll get there. I'm sure I'll get there. And uh, But I have to move still a few more things out of that room before I can start spreading out my polymer clay stuff. But uh, in another week or two, I hope that will be done and I can start thinking about my D-stash. I'd like to get my D-stashes done before it gets too hot. So at least in the early spring, if not before then. Because I, some of the grab bags are going to have um, raw clay in them. And I don't like shipping raw clay in the summertime because of the heat. So we'll see how that goes, or I may just have to leave out, you know, but hopefully I'll get them done way before it gets that hot. I would hate to think it would take that long for me to get one done. But let's see. Uh, but speaking of my paper crafting room, I have a crop tomorrow. I want, want to show you my little cups, my little paper cups. And they've kind of got a little rounded bottom and the handle, and then I made tea bags out of a Ghirardelli square, and whoops, and also a York peppermint patty. My string came off because I didn't staple that on like I should have, but Anyway, I think those are so cute, but I made one for each of the girls that are coming to the crop tomorrow, so that's going to be fun. Um, not a whole lot has gone on. It's still cold, but it is Virginia, and it might be 60 degrees one day and then 25 degrees the next day, 
And I'm afraid we're on a downward spiral right now. The next few days are going to be really cold. But then on Wednesday, it's back up upper 50s to 60 again. So it's really hard to get used to the uh, cold weather when it doesn't stay cold consistently. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I need to learn to put a mint in my mouth before I record my videos. But that's the least of my problems. But I hope everyone has had a good week. Um, RG Studio 360 has put up uh, his um, next class called Make a Splash, and it is it's an underwater it's it's mermaids and seahorses and goldfish, and the class is um, on the 12th, and I believe you've got through this weekend to sign up. But it is it's just going to be so much fun. But I joined his card class, uh, his card club. It's not a class, his card club. And every month I'm going to get a kit with all the supplies I need to make four cards. And then we're going to have a live video time that he, we're going to, Richard is going to go through each card, make them with us, give us any, some hints, you know, make his funnies like he always does. But uh, if, you, if you like making cards or if you'd like to learn how to make cards, these are so simple because you don't have to buy rubber stamps. He's doing digital downloads. So all you got to do is if you order the kit, you'll get your copies in your kit. But he also sends you the file by email or however he does it. It's different ways. And uh, you can keep it. And then when you're ready, to use it, you can print it out on your own paper, on your printer, and use it. So it's really good because you don't have to buy a bunch of stamps and things. But anyway, I've got that coming up. I'll talk more about that next week. And I'm just looking around. Actually, that's about it. It's been a great week. I hope everyone has a wonderful week, uh, a great weekend. I uh, hope you enjoy the Super Bowl. I'm looking forward to it, although my team's not in there. And I don't want anybody to laugh, but I am a Redskins fan. And have been all my life, so I'm not going to give up on them now. But uh, I'm really pulling for Philadelphia. I have nothing against New England. I am just so tired of hearing about Tom Brady. I'm sorry for those of you that love Tom Brady. You know... He's he's been in you know up there enough. Let's give somebody else a chance. So, from what I understand, Philadelphia is the underdog. So I'm I'm kind of pulling for the underdog. So everyone has a safe Super Bowl, and I will be back again next Friday for another Friday frolics, and I will also have your polymer clay video ready for you on Monday morning. So have a great one. Bye bye.